Good morning, YouTubers. This is GQ Auto Diagnostics and Repair. Today, working on a 2009 Chevy HHR 2.2 4 cylinder automatic front wheel drive. We're replacing front struts, rear shocks. Okay, so we're going to do it very simple and quick. First of all, I want to <clears throat> bring the vehicle off the ground so that way we can remove the tire safely. And it's a good practice always mark already marked the position on my wheel so I can put it back in the same spot why because sometimes we can create the car or the wheel have, can have a run out so that way I can put everything back the way it was okay it's a good practice not very many people like it but I do anyhow so it's a three-quarter or 19 millimeter I'm ready to remove it so <clears throat> right now I'm gonna put it on the side and we are going to focus and remove these two bolts right here or two nuts and the bolts and the sway bar connector link that's the sway bar right here as the connector link connect the sway bar to the strut <clears throat> okay so it's a good practice get both wheels off the ground so that way you take the pressure out of this other way if it's one wheel up and the other one it's on the ground you the torsion bar the sway bar is gonna have it's gonna be loaded so it's gonna be removing this try to detach it from the strut it's gonna make it difficult and challenging okay so it's a good practice <clears throat> so you need to remove this 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 and those three nuts those three nuts no the one in the middle stay away from this one okay so we're gonna do a complete replacement so I'll be right back all right so I already remove loosen up the this nuts this is an 18 millimeter they're gonna be three you see how easy they came off so that's good put it back there now this ones they're gonna be a little loaded there so what we're gonna do, I put the nuts back here. I'm gonna keep it nice and flat with the bolt so I can tap them. There it is. That's why it's a little hard. It's hard to, to remove it. So we're gonna have to tap it there. All right, so we are going to remove the nuts right here so we can remove this and we don't heat break our uh, speed sensor connector might as well better yes disconnect it so that way this can be out of the way just make sure don't forget to uh, hold on All right, I'm back. So that way, I disconnect it from the bracket with the pliers. You just press here and here, so that way it's totally out of the way. Just don't forget to connect it. Put it back in. Other way, you will have an ABS light. Come on, baby. Make sure it's there. Done. Okay. So now. I'll remove this one two one is gonna come out this one doesn't have any direction so you, if you worry about it put one on the bottom and the other one put it on the top but on those two doesn't really matter which one goes where now with your legs if you want to you can push a little higher so that way that you can see how it moves so I can just remove the second one just leave it there everything's gonna stay there no not no pressure on the on the brake line pretty easy I'll be right back all right so everything in the bottom is disconnected we're gonna go on top here it's a 13 millimeter 13 millimeter so when I use a swivel I'm gonna use a swivel with my extension to remove those three 
and with one hand I'm gonna try I'm gonna hold it so that would they just don't gravity don't take over and this fall off okay or <clears throat> I'm gonna put this back here so this can just rest on the steering knuckle I'll be right back all right those three nuts are off those are those three so the strut you move down and just a slide there but the reason I don't want in some vehicles sometimes you strut the base of the strut it can hit and break your uh, CV axle boot so I don't, I don't want it to happen so I'm trying to be extra cautious so this looked like it didn't hit, did much but still give me a little piece of mine so now pull it pull it towards you and we're done now on this vehicle you want to know look at the position of this okay this was towards the back of the vehicle over there so we're gonna make sure the strut we're gonna install is gonna be the same so on this one we have two and look exactly the same but here is an L that's for left that is for right so there you go so make sure you select the, the right strut so anyhow that's how you replace it you're gonna have to do it uh, put it back the opposite way and if you have any questions comment concern uh, please leave your comments below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel like the the video share it so it can keep me motivated to keep going with this okay have a great day hope this helped god bless